Hello, welcome to Borderline Obsessed Travels. It's, it's me again. Hi. When I made that video about my van build a little while back, somebody commented like, this is the first van tour video I've seen that didn't give a tour of the van. And I was like, that's cause this is not a van tour video, it's a van build video. But that comment did give me a good idea for a new video. So here's a van tour. <laughs> if you wanna watch the van build video first, I will link that in the description. But if you're watching this, you've probably already seen that. I'm also in a different van now than I was when I made that van build video. Most minivans are essentially the same on the inside anyway. There's one major difference though, and that is that the minivan that I did the original video with had back seats that were just removable. This van had back seats that folded down into the floor. So we removed those. As a result, there's a big well in the back of this van. So I guess I'll start with the front of my car and work backwards. I have a physical atlas. People make fun of me for this, but there are so many parts of the country where you don't have cell service. You can make fun of me, I don't care. Underneath this table thing, I have reusable grocery bags, a bunch of extra pens and pencils, an umbrella, rubbing alcohol, some tissues, and a thing of Paper towels. On the driver's side door, this is where I try to store my recycling. I try to recycle when I can. Some parts of the country, recycling is everywhere. Some parts of the country, it's very hard to come by. I try to keep some sort of fruit with me. Something that can just kind of live here and remind me to eat some fruit. I also keep my two liters of water here. I like the smart water bottles. I just clean them out periodically and reuse them. I like them because they have a pretty skinny profile, so they fit into most backpack water bottle pockets and also because the smart water bottles work with the Sawyer water filters so if you're going backpacking this is a very easy way to filter your water. Onto the passenger side floor there are sparkling waters. I also have two hiking poles and a cane and then my shoes live up here and I have two backpacks. This one's basically my gym backpack and this one's basically my hiking backpack. This is my gym backpack. My shower shoes stay in here. I have a master lock in here so I can use it with the lockers. I have a pair of aux wired earbuds so I can like watch TV when I'm in the gym but it's, it's basically just a backpack. This is my hiking backpack. I keep a bunch of stuff clipped to this one. So it's just a carabiner with a bunch of stuff that I might need if I'm going hiking. Baseball cap, fanny pack that I can carry around my phone. Watch. The hiking backpack itself is waterproof, but in here I just keep like sunscreen and some extra like battery packs for my phone. I like having the backpacks because they're both generally packed for their respective things. So if I want to go hiking, I can just throw my purse and my water and some extra food with me in here and I'm ready to go. And if I got to go to the gym, I can just throw my toiletry bag and a towel and a change of clothes into here and I'm good to go. I have one of the 20 something dollar a month Planet Fitness memberships, which means that you can go to any Planet Fitness location with the caveat that you're only able to go to 10 different gyms a month. Some Planet Fitnesses will enforce this and make you pay extra if you go to a different gym more than 10 times a month. Some gyms won't. I heard that it's a difference between whether it is franchise or corporate owned, but I'm not sure which one's which. Planet Fitnesses are pretty abundant, but there are chunks of the country where it's kind of hard to come by them. So I do still have my camp shower. The passenger seat is also where all of my coats and stuff live. And then on the back of the passenger seat, there are these hooks. So I hang a bag here. This is my laundry bag, the side door pocket, I keep a bunch of extra plastic bags, which I use as my trash bags. Between the foot of my bed and the front of my car, I have one normal size milk crate here that can hold four gallons of water and one rectangular milk crate back there that is enough to carry six gallons of water. I also store just a folding chair here and a yoga mat and a uh, fly spotter. My mattress is just a foam pad, so I have a sheet, a blanket, I have a sleeping bag that when it is cold enough that I do need to use a sleeping bag, it just stays up here. But when it is warm enough that I don't need to use it, I store it back under the bed back there. Between the bed and the driver's side sliding door, I store all of my folded window shades. Just put these up at night, store them here during the day. I also store these bug nets that I put on the front doors if I want to keep my windows rolled down at night. I ended up just making these instead of buying them. They're really just like big rectangles that I put over my front doors. I also have this weird solar powered light. It's not going to do much while it's bright out, but it glows different colors. I like using this as a light when I am in the car at night. I like that it's rechargeable in the sun. I just throw it up on the dashboard if it needs to be charged. Over towards the back of the car, there is toilet paper, hand sanitizer. In this pocket, I got room spray. Hanging up here, I have a loofah. I have another carabiner with some stuff on it. Reusable dish towel, loofah gourd that I use to scrub my pots if I need to. This is a pot scraper and this is 
what I use to drain my pots instead of like a colander. The head of my bed, there's the same sort of thing. Little water bottle in case I get thirsty. A mug that I can make tea in. There's a little rechargeable fan. There's a cat. Uh, and there's a, another pocket back here that I keep earplugs and a flashlight in. Under my bed in one of the shelves, we've got food on the bottom. So this is more like dinner stuff. This is more like snack stuff. Up here, I've got like duct tape, extra magnets, scissors, I don't know, useful stuff. And then activities. So I have like a tiny watercolor kit. There's some cross stitch stuff in there. And then on this side, we got a toilet seat, but we have clothes. So this is more like everyday stuff. This is more gym and sleeping stuff. And up here, this is my toiletries mostly. And this is like socks. Toiletry bag is pretty small. It's got like a small toothpaste, toothbrush, face wash, deodorant, lotion. They're all kind of in small containers. And then just under my bed, I have my pot, which inside of it, there's a cutting board and a bowl, knife, fork, spoon, can opener, and then some extra food here in this plastic container, my camp shower. And then I ended up abandoning my old toilet idea. So now I just have two buckets. So one container and then in the back, it's a three and a half gallon bucket now instead of the old five gallon. I feel very guilty for abandoning my original toilet idea because I do still think it was a very good idea, but it ended up being just too complicated. Two separate containers ended up being simpler and works fine for me so that's what i switched to moving on to the back of my car this is probably the biggest disaster zone and that's mostly because i stocked up way too much on food before i left i might make a separate video about food because i have a lot to say about food also my favorite grocery store is bb's grocery outlet it's a chain that exists in amish country in pennsylvania there's a lot of extra food in the back of my car right now but this is the well that i mentioned earlier and as a result of there being this hole in the floor i did need to move the foot and head of my bed closer together so i lost a little bit of storage space under here but i gained a bunch under here these are just extra food hopefully i will go through them soon and these can go away there's a small metal folding table on just one of these little hooks i have a hammock also a bunch of extra pine pellets in case i need them and then i have two milk crates the bottom one has all of the big versions of my toiletries so when the little ones that I take into the gym with me, run out, I refill them with the stuff in here. I also have some nicer clothes. And in the milk crate on top, there's some more practical stuff, uh, my camp stove. Also to keep these milk crates from toppling over, I have a little bungee cord that is hooked to this milk crate and then it's also hooked to something up here. And that keeps this from falling over all the time. And the last kind of fun thing is we built this little shelf underneath my bed to hold my laptop. There's a velcro piece that goes on the bottom that keeps it from sliding out. Also, it's fit pretty well to the size of my laptop, so I'm not nervous about it like bumping around while I'm driving. On the floor, there is a tent, and this is the garage door bug net that I was talking about in the last video. I just bought a huge bug net that goes over a garage door, and I sewed a bunch of magnets into it, and now I can attach that to my open hatch door. And then between these two knobs at the back of my car, I can hang up a piece of paracord and then when I get out of the gym and I have like a wet towel, I can line dry it up here. I store a bunch of my clothes pins just on this seat belt. And I use those to line dry my clothes when I need to. Okay, that was my van tour. If you are still unsatisfied with this van tour, you're not getting another one. Bye. <laughs>